Okay, this is the Magpul Masada um, by Magpul PTS. I'm not going to unbox it because that's fucking gay. This is the AEG. Very, very solid construction. No creaking or rattling or anything. Upper receiver from the front to the back is milled aluminium. And you've got um, polymer, whatever, low receiver, stock, four grip. Inside the box, you get a dummy bullet. No package, it's got a warranty card, instruction manual which is all in English and in colour and a CD with um, a PDF version of the instruction manual. Okay, the dummy bullet is used to take apart your AEG and to access the uh, battery compartment. We've got these pins there, there and there. First one is for putting the battery in, which goes in there. Whilst I've got this open, I'll quickly show you the uh, quick release barrel, which pull that lever down, run to the side, and out it comes. It's that easy. And to put it back in, it's simply the reverse of that. And lock it up. And that's it. Um, battery. It did come with small tiny connectors which I threw away and have replaced with Dean's. I've got a um, small LiPo here which is actually a little bit small and it does rattle around in the foregrip a bit but okay finally. These don't actually come right out um, they just hang in place so you're very unlikely to lose them. Uh, you've got your backup side and front side there and they lock down easily enough. Fire selector, ambidextrous, so whether you're right handed or you've got the hand of the devil, um, you're okay. Uh, mag release again is ambidextrous and the bolt catch is because uh, you access the hop up there and release it like that. The cocking handle is also ambidextrous. You can use your bullet just to take it out and pop it in the other side there and that's how you do that. Okay. Mags, 120 round uh, mid cap P mag comes with it. So really the uh, the 400 pounds price I paid with uh, patrolbase.co.uk is um, not quite the full story because you're going to need to buy more mags. Uh, 120 rounds isn't really enough for any game. I had to buy an extra four mags to take up the 600 round limit I use at my local site. Um, but having said that, it does will take your current um, M4 high caps. So I've got an ICS high cap here. Excuse the wise, this is a little project I'm doing. And in fact, it fits in better and more snug than it did in my GNG um, CQBH. Uh, there's no no rattle there and it doesn't misfire whatsoever. So that's good news. Right, what now? Firing, got connected, you've got semi auto, and because it's a micro switch trigger, very instant feedback. Um, not much travel on the trigger, so your response is going to be very fast. I tend to use semi auto all the time, and this is going to be fantastic for me. Full auto, that's with a 7.4 volt, 850 milliamp hour LiPo battery. Don't quite know off the top of my head what the discharge rate is, but um, you get the idea. Again, it's um, noticeable how good the build of this is. Uh, it is a big gun, as you can see. It's almost full arm's length out from my shoulder. And I am used to shorter guns, but this uh, does have excellent range and excellent accuracy, so can't really complain about that. The buttstock, it doesn't fold like um, the Bushmaster version does and it's not very adjustable. Um, got the cheap rest there, you pull it back, 
push it down, lock it forward, that's the low position, and upper position. That's literally about 7mm of height difference, it's not really worth having. But um, it is a comfortable gun to use. I have ordered the um, angled foregrip, uh, but I don't have that today, I'm afraid. That's just about it. But if you do have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I haven't skirmished with this yet, but um, I will be doing so this Sunday. So I will be able to tell you more then, whether there's any problems that crop up or um, anything I haven't told you yet. Um, as for the price, it's £400. I paid that at uh, patrolbase.co.uk. They do have a hell of a lot of Magpul stuff in stock and the service was excellent. I did have a little shop around and some places are charging £500 for these. That's if they have them in stock. So um, I certainly recommend those. Um, and I've ordered the rest of my Magpul stuff from there as well. Right, that's it. Um, like I said, any questions, ask them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.